so I just realized I have some pretty awesome stories that I've never told to the internet or really to even like my friends. A few interesting, interesting stories and I was thinking of what I should tell on the internet, what's a little bit too far, what's a good story to, you know, kind of warm myself up to this whole storytelling thing on the internet here. And this one story just kind of stuck in my mind and if this wasn't if this doesn't go down in history as one of the most epic things I've ever fucking done so far in my 19 years of life, then I don't know what the fuck else is. So basically, this is the story about the time I got arrested and fucked a CO when I got out. And I'm not gonna really get into like why I got arrested, that's a whole other fucking story time. But I'm definitely gonna talk about the CO, all that. This is recent, this is pretty recent. So a few months ago, I got arrested. I got arrested, ended up doing two months in my local county jail. It was super fun, super humbling, great experience. But in my time there, um, I got to see COs every single day and um, some of them were pretty fucking sexy. I don't know how a lot of jails work in other parts of the United States or even the world shit. They let the male officers come in to where the females were. So I was around male officers every single day and there were a few of them that would definitely flirt with me, but there was this one that I thought was so fine and we all like thought was so super fucking sexy. Like this guard was so fucking hot, He's so fucking young, just ugh, fine as fuck, but like he would not entertain any type of flirting with us. I'm not going to try to give away too many hints because I know he definitely still works there and Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. You know, he did this. <laughs> I meet this guard or whatever. I see him every fucking day, pretty much. I mean, it's his job. I mean, you know, he doesn't work my side a lot. I just know him. You know, I know his name. I'm there for two months. You know, I'm living at your work. You know, I see you every fucking day. Around the time comes where I get out of jail and I'm super fucking excited. I'm geeked. I'm fucking amped. I get out. I go home. The last fucking thing I'm thinking about is these guards. Fuck no. Like, maybe I thought about them every day while I was in there. But the second I left the jail, like, I was not even, like, comprehending, like, anything that had to do with anybody I was just in jail with for two months. I don't want anything to do with this place anymore so I go home and I'm on my phone finally it's been two months I get and it wasn't just one guard that messaged me I had a few hit me up and I was talking to one of them you know he wasn't as cute I was just entertaining it because you know it was, it was fun you know I'm talk talking to a fucking guard that was just my authority figure for two months it was kind of sexy it was kind of fucking hot not gonna lie so I'm talking to one of them I'm not really feeling him and then I they start popping up on my people you may know because we're now I'm friends with one of them now they're all popping the fuck up on my people you may know I see sexy motherfucker pop up on my shit and my people you may know and I'm like you know what let's just add him let's just add him let's just add him click that add friend button quick as fuck and I honestly did not think he was gonna answer just because of like how he was at work like he just did not give any type of indication that he would even talk to a former inmate let's just do this for shits and giggles so i'm going to hang out with my friend we're at the mall and we're in victoria's secret and i'm just we're getting undies we're picking out shit i get a notification and i'm like hey uh, you're never gonna believe this shit he accepted my fucking friend request so i'm like all right it's on motherfucker he knows my name who who the fuck there's not many veronica's around here especially with my last name he knew who the fuck I was he knew I just got out of jail I don't message him because I'm like you know what let's 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 see how, where this goes you know I leave it alone I don't message him I'm we're just friends he starts liking my fucking profile pictures I felt like a badass I'm not even gonna lie he is so fucking sexy like literally one of the finest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life so I was just like damn I fucking snagged one, but I mean, we hadn't talked at this point, so I'm just being dramatic. A couple days go by, and I get a message. I'm like, bet. It might have not even been a couple days. It might have even just been a couple fucking hours. I get a message, and it's like, hmm, you look familiar. I think I might know you from somewhere. And I wish I wasn't filming this on my phone because I would deadass just pull up the messages, but that's literally like along the lines of what he said. So we're just playing stupid, acting like we don't fucking know that I just got out of jail and that I was around you every single day for two months. We just pretend like that wasn't a thing. So we're talking. I mean, obviously it eventually gets brought up. We start talking about hanging out, 
hooking up, you know. I didn't think anything was actually gonna happen. I just felt like a badass and was like, let's entertain this. He's of legal drinking age, I'm not. He totally provided me with alcohol. He totally picked me up from my friend's house. I was drunk as fuck because I was nervous. I had to get drunk before I hung out with this fucking CO, are you kidding me? I was scared as fuck, you know? I was nervous as hell, you know? I wanted to be like who I am now, not this scared little timid bitch. So I got drunk, well I got tipsy. He picks me up from my friend's house. I'm like texting my friend the whole time like this is fucking crazy i'm like taking pictures in his bed like for proof and this is like blowing my fucking mind i'm like want to call everybody that i was in jail with like guess who i'm fucking with right now so i'm just like sitting there like he takes a shower like we put on a movie long story short we end up fucking and we do everything under the fucking sun i did everything with this man I fuck a couple times we hang out we drink he's like do you want to stay the night i'm like i'm gonna wake up tomorrow sober and this is gonna be so weird for me and weird for you. So I'm just gonna go home, but this has been fun. We still talk, I still have him on Snapchat. I'm sure I could hit him over right the fuck now and get some dick if I wanted to. I can text him about shit, about my friends when they get arrested, he'll tell me. Um, he told me a lot of shit that definitely I shouldn't know. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of that story. I mean, it doesn't seem as crazy when I say it now but it just I don't know for coming from my standpoint I was arrested I was in jail for two months I saw this motherfucker every day it's just a fucking savage beast mode to fuck a CO and I did it and I'm proud as fuck of it he was hot as fuck he's still hot as fuck definitely like up there on my list of like fine motherfuckers I've been with and I've been with some fine motherfuckers so I don't know i just felt like a badass it was a fun story it still is a fun story uh i still think i'm a fucking badass for it. i still always will think i'm a badass for it. i literally like fucked him like two days after i got out of jail it's pretty fucking epic i don't know if you want more stories like this and you want to know why i got arrested you want to know more about yeah i will tell you but you just have to leave requests might refilm this might not i just wanted to test the waters a little bit and tell you about this situation that I find absolutely comical and fucking hilarious, but savage. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see if this video ever makes it to the internet.